Hey everybody, uh, just doing a quick video. I stumbled across a website a few days ago and I think it really deserves a spotlight. Not a lot of people know that exists as far as I can tell and they're doing amazing things so I just wanted to kind of get the word out there. Uh, the website in question is Fandor, www.fandor.com. Visit it right now. So Fandor is like a lot of the sites that have recently become popular. Netflix, Hulu, Mubi even offers streaming films. There's Crackle. Uh, if you're into Japanese animation, there's Crunchyroll now. There's a lot of websites that are coming up and a lot of companies that are launching that provide a legal way for you to watch movies online. And Fandor is very similar to that, but they have a very specific audience. So there's Mubi, which used to be called The Autors, which does uh, a daily film festival. Essentially, they curate an independent art house film every day, and they highlight that. So I think for $14 a month, you can watch the film that they offer. And I think their whole library is available. They just highlight one film. Um, but despite Mubi being an incredible website for film fans, in terms of their library, their discovery systems, their lists, their forums, I find their streaming section is really lackluster. They have some good titles, but not the stuff that I'm into. Fandor is essentially Mubi on steroids and, like, custom tailored for me. Fluke that I stumbled across it, because I don't even know if it's advertised online. I haven't seen it on any ads. Um, I haven't seen it on any of the websites that I frequent as like a spotlight article. I haven't seen any YouTube videos of it. I actually uh, did a Google search to see if anyone had done a video like this about this, this website because it's so incredible. I thought, oh yeah, this is probably like a hipster underground website that I just haven't heard of. But it seems like the word isn't out there and I really want to get the word out there. Um, so anyway, back on the topic. It's art house independent cult experimental surrealistic films all on one one website. Ten dollars a month. Um, so it is a subscription. There's no free option. You get a two week free trial, uh, and then it's ten dollars a month after that. But here, let me just go on the website and see what kind of films they have. They have all the information if you want to know the cast, the director, what film festivals, uh, what genres, and they have genres like. Uh, animation, avant-garde, cults, fantasy, film noir, independent, science fiction, so on and so forth. And then you can browse by festival. Uh, they have like films from the Cannes Film Festival, uh, South by Southwest, Sundance, Venice, Tribeca, all of those cool as shit film festivals. Um, and then they also have it by country. So they have pretty much every country up there, America, uh, France, Britain, Japan, Germany... Hong Kong, Russia, Italy, China, Canada, Australian films, Mexican films, Swedish films, Polish films, like crazy. Netflix has all that, Mubi has all that, but what's cool is their selection. Uh, let me log in here so I can actually pull up some of the things that I've watched. So today I watched Dottie Gets Spanked, which is a Todd Haynes short film. Uh... And I also watched Pig. You wouldn't expect that on a streaming site, but Fandor has it. Uh, Pig is exactly the film you're probably thinking of, which was recently released on Blu-ray with the sequel 1334, I think. Uh, yeah, in high definition, too, on Fandor. And it's legal. Um, some other films, they have Gozu, they have Each of the Killer, the Bird with the Crystal Plumage, which is great because it's out of print. Uh, they have Evil Dead Trap, Party 7, Irma Vep. They have films that you've never heard of, films that you have heard of, and films on really independent labels like Synapse, called Epics. Uh, so I think this is going to be a pretty popular site for people that I'm familiar with on this, this uh, community, YouTube community, because I see them buying films like this. And this Fandor, I wouldn't replace it with buying the actual physical product, because I'm more of a physical guy than a digital guy. But this is a great way, like, would I have bought Pig? Probably not. Am I going to now? Yes. They don't actually just provide streaming options. They're actually, it's like a curated website. So people pick these films to show to you, and they write articles and go more in depth into the film than 
even special features do. It's like a Criterion booklet if it was a website that also let you watch the films. I'm not getting paid to do this video or getting anything from doing this video. I literally just want to get this out. Uh, it works on uh, most browsers. I think it supports all three major operating systems, so Mac, Windows, and Linux. You can watch it on your iPhone or iPad, and with that, you can uh, airplay it to an Apple TV. Subtitle support's a little iffy on Apple TV. Um, you have to can't airplay it directly. You have to mirror it, and then the subtitles are kind of wonky anyways. So that's not really 100% yet, but the quality of the films is fantastic. Subtitle translation and grammar is in check. Um, yeah, if you share the same tastes, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Check this out because I think it's going to be a huge hit with you, and I am so glad I found it. Um, I think their library will get stale after a few months, just because I don't know how regularly they update, and they don't have a ton of films. Um... I'm trying to see if there is a way to see how many films in total they have, but I don't think there is. Oh, and this is really cool. So if you go to the genre uh, page, you can do, of course, the genres, so action adventure. But then if you click that, it subgenres it. So action adventure, biker, disaster, manhunt, martial arts, seafaring, serial, sword and, s and sandal. Uh, Avant-garde has things like City Symphony, Culture Jamming, Nano Objects, Silent, Structural Surrealist. Um, they have a gay and lesbian section, uh, which not a lot of sites highlight because it's kind of iffy. Especially Netflix, like it is a genre, but on most devices you can't see it. Cult, they have Exploitation, Hyper-Reality, Psychotronic, Schlock. It's really fantastic. They're, I think, genre fans, everyone who works for this company, so it's pretty fantastic. Oh, and they have a Roku app if you need that, too. Uh, so, yeah, check it out, guys. Uh, links below, or just type it into your URL bar. I'm not trying to scam you into any uh, profiting scheme here. Um, just really think that you'll dig this. So, check it out, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> yeah, I just realized this. Mm, kind of weird, but it's there.